Hey guy, what's Hey guy? <laughs> na nung last ako nag-shoot, kaya medyo naninibago na naman ako. However, ewan ko, masyadong busy tong dala, ano, ewan ko, masyadong busy tong na la, naninibago na naman ako. <laughs> medyo naging busy kasi ako nito mga nakaraan dalawang linggo. Kung pinafollow nyo ako sa Instagram or other social networks social networks <laughs> or other social media, you'll notice na medyo baliw-baliw ako sa mga halaman. And obviously, if you can see there, that's my golden photos, finding type. And then, ito mga nandito, yun yung mga pinapropagate ko hanggang dun sa dulo. And then, uh, there's more photos here and my medium-medium na pinapropagate ko. Anyway, this video is not about my plants. This is the continuation of my What's the Best Pre-Med video. So this is the part 2. Before you skip to the pre-med you have in mind, panoorin nyo muna hanggang sa BS Pharmacy kasi most of the points of this video or in this video uh, would be under that kasi syempre I'm from pharmacy so you'd expect me to say or talk about pharmacy more. So anyway, nabitin ba kayo sa first part ng what's the best pre-med video? Five minutes lang ata yun. and then uh, ang sinabi ko naman nun eh wala talagang best pre-med which is true pero I'm here today to discuss kung ano magiging edge mo depende on your pre-med and before I continue, I can be wrong with so many things kaya kung mali man ako at may mga nanonood dyan na nasa medical school or doktor na na iba ang pananaw or opinion sa akin feel free to correct me, I don't mind Kasi sino ba naman ako? I can only speak from an outside perspective. Okay. Before pala yun, pag-usapan muna natin med school. The first two years of med school focuses on basic medical sciences. Yung anatomy, histology, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology. Kung baga hindi pa siya clinical setup. Pero nag include na sila ng mga minor subjects like mag introduce na sila ng mga OB or mag introduce na sila ng counting surgery, whatever. <laughs> Hindi ko na isa isa hen. The first two years of your medical schooling, talagang magmo matter yung pre medical course mo. Kasi nga yun sabi ko kanina, may edge kita talaga. Depende ko sa kanang galing. It's not to say na it's gonna be easier for you, pero iba talaga pag may edge ka. Uh, Kung baga ayun. <laughs> iba talaga pag may edge ka. <laughs> Low bat agad! Ayun guys, so, matagal ako hindi... <laughs> ano ba sinasabi ko kanina? Matagal kasi ako hindi nag-shoot, so... Uh, ginamit ko yung camera here and there para mag-picture-picture ng mga halaman. Pero nakalimutan ko siyang i-charge. Alam nyo yun, hindi na nga ako makafocus sa video. Naiilang na nga ako, nalobat pa ako, nakalimut ko sasabihin ko. <sighs> anyway, it's been a while since I sat down and gumawa ng video about uh, medical gumawa ng video with medical content so wag na tayong lumayo unahin na natin yung pre-medical course na malapit sa puso ko <laughs> hindi kasi dito ako nang galing uh, I was a pharmacist I am a pharmacist first huh? I was a pharmacist first but I am still a pharmacist what? you know what? Ang Minsan kasi nagsasalita ako or nag-iisip ako in English and then when I say it out, it sounds weird or pangat yung accent or ang pangat na translation to. Anyway, anyway, focus, focus, focus. And this is, sorry may drink na naman ako, this is Dr. Pepper Cherry. Yeah. Na-realize ko lang sa paper ko. Walang yun. BS Pharmacy. BS Pharmacy takes around 4 to 5 years depende dun sa course mo. I think ito yung part na gusto nyong marinig kasi dito ako nang galing. And ito yung talagang makakapagbigay ako ng first hand information kung okay ba to as a pre-med o hindi. So first, human anatomy and physiology including biochemistry. Those are core first year subjects sa med school. And depends on the pharmacy school that you came from. Ba't ba ako nag-English? 
Ang sinasabi ko ay depende kung saan ka nang galing na pharmacy school, this can be really this can really be your edge. We also have biostatistics which was really really helpful nung nag clinical epidemiology kami sa medical school. Kasi sa totoo lang nakakalito yung clinical epidemiology, yung mga sensitivity, specificity, types of research. Pero bilang kahinaan ko to, walang edge edge. Pagpunta ko na med school back to zero, the only thing that was helpful was familiar ako sa mga terms. And then, in pharmacy, we also have microbiology, parasitology, virology. Yan, all together, core subject din yan sa second year naman. And then, pharmacology for sure. Sobrang hirap niyan sa med school, second year med school, uh, lalo na sa USD sa amin. Gusto kong kupitin yung lisensya ko sa sobrang hirap ng pharmacology namin. Andun na ako sa point na sobrang nakakahiya na, na may pharmacy license ako. Pharmacist license ako. So anyway, kasama na dyan yung pharmacodynamics, which deals with how the drug deals with your pharmacodynamics, which... <laughs> okay, pharmacodynamics which deals with how a drug deal with your body. Kasama na rin dyan yung pharmacokinetics na isang topic lang in medical school pharmacology pero isang semester sa amin sa pharmacy. It deals with how your body deals with the drug. Yan lang natutunan ko. The joke. Actually, personally, in a single line, in a, sa madaling salita, I think one of the best pre-meds sa uh, pharmacy. Sa totoo lang talaga. Kasi, ako kasi sinaryoso ko yung college eh. So, Nung dumating sa first year and second year, academic-wise, uh, medyo smooth sailing ako sa pag-aaral. Mas nakakastras sa akin yung mga non-academic sa mga first time mag-dorm, first time malayo, first time mawalan ng oras sa kaibigan yung mga ganun. And then, inaral din pala namin yung pharmacognosy. If you are not familiar with pharmacognosy, sa totoo lang kahit ako di ako familiar sa term na yan dati, pharmacognosy is the branch or is a part of pharmacy which deals with uh, more of the herbal side. Yung part na yun naman, nakatulong yun sa akin in practice. I mean, I'm not saying expert ako sa herbal medicine, pero kasi it will take you years and years to be an expert on it. Pero itong pharmacognosy kasi medyo nakatulong siya sa akin in practice niya kasi kahit ano pang sabihin natin, uh, yung mga gamot na tinatake natin, those are synthetic kasi. Uh, herbal medicine, dyan pa rin nanggaling mostly yung mga gamot na tinitake natin ngayong modern times. Pagbigyan niyo ako. I'll be better, promise. Kahit gaano pang kadami na vaccines or gamot ang ma-produce natin, herbal medicine will really hunt us. Hunt us. Until the day... Until the day we die. So, promise. Um, wala. Wala akong promise. Hindi <laughs> pala ako pwede mag-promise ng kahit ano. Uh, <laughs> Next, meron din kami clinical pharmacy, meron kami pharmacotherapeutics, meron kami ano pa ba? Meron kami toxicology, and then meron din kami public health. So overall talaga somehow pharmacists, doctors can really optimize treatment ng patient kasi uh, alam namin from manufacturing, from raw materials to sa paggawa ng gamot hanggang sa pagbenta ng gamot hanggang sa matake yung gamot, hindi lang taga-benta sa burger. Ayun nga, kahit yung paggalaw ng gamot sa market, alam namin, kasi dumaan kami sa community pharmacy, dumaan kami sa industrial pharmacy, dumaan kami sa hospital pharmacy, clinical pharmacy. Yung familiarity namin sa process ng paggawa ng gamot hanggang sa ma-produce yung gamot, hanggang sa umabot sa end consumer, also known as your patients. Ano sinasabi ko? Basta yun! Ha! <laughs> By the time na pumasok kami sa medical school, meron na kaming hospital experience. Uh, much like mga medical technologies and nurses. Suffice to say, may idea kami kahit papaano, kahit kakaunti na idea sa patient management. <laughs> Sabaw ko ngayon. Ano ba ito? Kailangan ko rin pa lang sabihin na kaya inabot ako ng 2 weeks to upload another video kasi medyo hindi talaga ako motivated. Yung mga balita na kumakala sa Pilipinas, medyo nakakawalang gana. Yung mga susunod kong i-discuss ay from an outside perspective. So, just take it with a grain of salt. Again. Okay, psychology. BS Psychology takes around 4 years. Huwag nyo na ako tanungin kung anong mas okay, AB ba o BS? Kasi personally, 
hindi ko alam kung ano yung pinagkaiba nila. Ang alam ko lang, AB is more on the counseling side and and pre-law ata yun. And BS naman, more on the clinical side and parang psychotherapy side. Marami daw silang biostatistics. And true enough, ang dami mong kilalang psychologist na sobrang galing sa clinical epidemiology. For some reason, eh wala kasi ang psychology naman talaga, very data-based eh. Very evidence-based yan. Hindi mo pwedeng i-claim lang na, uy, ito, uh, ganito yung mental process sa gantong theory dahil lang, dahil lang naisip ko. Hindi pwede yun. On top of that, sobrang familiar sila and sobrang galing nila sa totoo lang sa, sa neuropsychological sciences which includes your behavioral medicine, neuroanatomy, and neurology per se. I will say na if inclined ka sa mga brain matters, brain matters, psychology is a good premed for you. Ako, if given a chance or if papapiliin ako between something and psychology, tas mas gusto ko yung psychology, I will go to psychology kasi mahilig ako sa neuroscience. Next, medical technology which takes around 4 years then. Like sa pharmacy, marami sila, may meron silang anatomy, physiology, meron silang microbiology, madaming microbiology. So anong edge nila? Well, they also took pharmacology, laboratory sciences, yung mga clinical pathology, serology, hematology, whatever, OG. Sila kasi yung nasa more technical side, kaya nga medical technology. So sila, sobrang breeze para sa kanilang second year. As in, kahit matulog sila, I think papasa sila ng second year medical school. So ang edge nila sa pagiging clinician naman, eh do sa diagnostic part. For example, ako, minsan itatanong ko pa, paano ba ginagawa yung gantong test? I mean, alam ko kung para saan siya and kung bakit siya ginagamit clinically. Pero yung process na pagkuha or yung pag-test ng bagay na yun, hindi ko alam. Uh, yung mga medtech, alam nila yung mga part na yun. Next, nursing. Also, four years. Very, very, very practical and you won't go wrong. On top of that, it's a very wonderful, fulfilling vocation. Obvious naman yung respeto ko sa kanila, di ba? Sa sobrang daming hospital exposure ng mga nurses. Nurses are already half doctors by the time na pumasok sila ng medical school. And gusto ko lang sabihin, I just want to put it out there na I'm really thankful sa mga nurse boss ko. Uh, from the time na nung naging clerk ako, intern, even ngayon. Kasi promise sila yung unang mag-guide sa'yo simula na umapak ka sa hospital hanggang sa umalis ka. Naging nurse appreciation na to. Okay, anyway, shout out sa mga nurses dahil kayo ang laging first contact. Especially ngayong may pandemic, uh, kayo talaga yung mass at risk more than the doctors. Back to topic. Anong edge ng nurses? I think ayoko mag-dwell sa subjects kasi ang biggest factor of being a nurse, having worked and learned uh, alongside doctors, ayun, meron silang clinical eyes na caregivers lang ang nakakakita. Clinical eyes is yung observational skills and recognition, re 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 recognition skills ng isang clinician. So ayun nga, trained sila sa health assessment and education, kaya that's their edge. Okay, physical therapy eh, or uh, occupational therapy. Five years naman yung course nila, I think. <laughs> These cycles took anatomy way too seriously. Imagine mo, college pa lang nagdadesect na sila ng human cadavers. Joke yan between, ano, between medical students na talagang intense yung training nila sa anatomy. Pero hindi lang kasi yung edge nila eh. They also do well in neurology, in rehabilitation sciences or rehabilitation medicine. And I think uh, they have a lot more in common with doctors than anyone would think. From an outside perspective, wala akong masabi, but I think it's a good prevent. Itong next naman, yung pinaka pumapasok sa isip ko pag sinabi natin pre-medical courses. I remember asking our school, high school counselor if it's going to be a good pre-med. Not once, not twice, pero talagang kinukulit ko sila. Biology. Biology, 4 to 5 years yan. Depende sa school mo. Ano nga bang edge nila? Well, meron silang botany. Meron silang human anatomy. Physiology. Meron silang comparative anatomy and physiology. Microbiology. Histology. Biostatistics. Genetics. Cell and molecular biology. Ecology. Immunology. Biomedical sciences. Alam nyo yun, parang... They know about life. That's why they're a good... Pre med course. Okay, yun lang muna for now. 
Uh, I just want to say that doctors tend to pursue or follow specialties that are kind of related to their payment courses. For example, yung ibang medtech, mas inclined sila sa pathology. Kasi madaming ng laboratory sciences dun. And then, as for me, to be honest, interesado ako sa anesthesiology. Feeling ko dahil sa pharma eh. But this is not always the case. Uh, ultimately, it still depends sa tao. Yun lang, again, yun lang. Limited lang yung mga diniscuss ko. Kasi ano po, gusto nyo i-discuss ko lahat ng courses sa buong mundo. Uh, suffice to say, any course is good for medicine. By the time na nasa third year na kayo, magpapantay-pantay lang kayo ng alam. Tulad na sinabi ko sa part 1 ng video na to, pare-pareho lang kayo mga alam. <laughs> for those medical students or those doctors na gustong magbigay na advice sa pre-med nila, just comment down below. I will pin a good uh, pre-med advice, siguro. <laughs> also, I hope na nakatulong ako sa selection process ng mga kabataan na nanonood na to or nanood na to na namang problema sa pre-med na pipiliin nila or baka lalong namang problema <laughs> dahil nag-iisip ng mag-shift. 